Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And we are back with another travel day. So today, mom and I are in Germany. We are doing an excursion that takes us to Wismar and Schwerin. I'm trying really hard to learn how to pronounce those. Mom's good at it, but she actually learned, learned. She lived in Germany and Spain as a uh, preteen young adult. So she understands quite a bit of German. I do not. <laughs> Even though I am mostly German on my dad's side, my grandma and grandfather are from Germany. So we are actually going to go on a nine hour, 15 minute excursion. So we are going to be going into these towns. We're going to see Schwerin Castle. We are also going to be able to walk around the town a little bit. We're walking around another town. Maybe that's this far. Mom booked this excursion. So y'all will probably find out as I do, but it should be a lot of fun even if it is a very long day the boat we're of course on the carnival pride is going to be docked here from <coughs> well eight we're at the dock right now until almost 11 o'clock tonight so it's a very long day because quite a few people are you see the train down there quite a few people are taking the train all the way into berlin it's a six hour train ride. So we opted not to do that. You know, your girl gets motion sick. So does my mom. So we are going to hang out, see a bunch of German castles, do some shopping, hopefully find another Pandora store. My goal is to find as many Pandora charms for each, vid each video, each city that we visit as possible, each country. Um, so let's go check it out. We've got about 10 minutes before we have to meet everybody downstairs to go get on our coach and go off into the wilderness. We do have a 90 minute coach ride, so that's not stellar, but it, it is what it is. And 90 minutes, that's an hour and a half. That's way better than six hours. So it should be fun. But before I get on a boat or a ship or a um, coach or a train or an automobile, I gotta go find some Diet Pepsi. I asked at, <laughs> asked at lunch at lunch at breakfast and they said the bars where you get the diet pepsi weren't open yet but it's now after eight so we can go track some down see y'all on the coach So right now we are in Wismar, 
Wismar. Wismar. So we're walking around. Our tour guide is all the way over there, but we have these little headsets. So she's right in our ear. It's pretty fun. It's a lot of old buildings. Pretty neat looking. Yeah. It's just an old German town. Little tiny town. That's what we were looking for, I guess. Mm hmm And there are all these um, parts you still can see in the old color over there, a little bit in yellow. This is the old part. So, people, people did not know how to reconstruct. They had to learn it because very often when they make this kind of thing, it falls down. And so it was very hard to get the old thing to do. Mm -hmm. And during that time, nearly no forest, nothing more existed because they needed so a lot of forest and wood to make all the stones to bake them or to have it as construction material. So nearly no forest. That's why it was stopped in the 17th, 18th century. They could not have the material to build it again. And so it stayed around about 18 years. 
You can do all of this, but see how your knees look like. So, Ready to go, Mom? Yes. All right, y'all, so we just got done in with Vismar. Vismar, and now we're going to Fairine. Fairine, I can't say these things. Mom lived in Germany for a while, so she's much better at the pronunciation than I am. But it was really fun. We walked all around. We hit a few shops. We saw a lot of churches and a lot of the old marketplace. A lot of old buildings back to, like, 1300s. Yeah. So far, I think, is was today your favorite tour so far of everything we've done? Yeah. So we're going to go to the castle in Schwerven mm -hmm. and do some shopping and get some lunch. Schwerein. Schwerein. That's Schwerein. different than the last time you said it. I thought it was Schwerein. Schwerein. Yeah, our tour guide keeps saying it completely different than even we were saying it. So we'll, we'll keep practicing. But for now, we're going to be on the coach for 30 minutes to an hour. I'm not 100% sure. Something like, Something like that. So we'll see you in the city. St. Peter mentions the ghost of our castle, but also the name for a beer and for a little figure and for the ferry going around. And now I think you have a very nice view to our artificial lake, Pappentide, with a little fountain, with a church right hand side, shelf or reed town.
Oh, and I tried to get out of your way. And... Bubbles! The first was made or was ready 1171. It was 11 years after foundation of the town. But it was made from wood, very small. And then one of the princes of Mecklenburg, they made a tour into the Holy Land and they brought with a stone filled with holy blood. And next, a lot of <coughs> pilgrims came here. The cathedral was mm -hmm. And then they built another one. As you can see it from here, 1270 till 1416. Because when we go around now, you will see it from the other side. And then we still have a very young one. But later we all to come back to this side to the market. Let's go around so you can see how big it is. And you also can see it the other side.
Then they enlarged to this direction and later over there, and so it became bigger and bigger from time to time. And I think you can have a nice view outside to the garden where we have been. And so the ladies use this room for having their tea in the afternoon, sometimes also in the morning. If you have a view to the ceiling, I think this is the best of paper mache, also here, no wood. Also, if the color looks like a little bit darker, like wooden material. They took a lot of bills, documents, any leaflets they did not need any longer. They mixed it with water and pressed it into forms from gypsum. And it had the thickness of around about one centimeter. It was dry and then they brought it here and then they painted in the different colors, different decorations and all it looks like wooden material. And so all these last since 19th century. Yes, the paintings. We have over there the painting of a Russian daughter of Tsar. We are in 17th century. Helene Paulovna over there. She was married at the age of around about 15 years. And her husband, the Hudbrin, one of the dukes over there, he was around about 19, so it was still a good relationship she had. For Mecklenburg, it was one of the richest marriages. St. Petersburg gave him really a lot of money, but she was ill. Have a view into the face and to the eyes with fever. She already died with 19. She didn't have a long life. No medicine, tuberculosis, it was, and so he had to marry a new once in a while. We have a 19th century, and you can see her first two children. The little boy was Friedrich Franz II, the duke who decided to change the castle, as you can see it today. And important is this chair, Mimi. Because we have visited Copenhagen yesterday, we found this chair on an auction in Copenhagen seven years ago. <laughs> and left hand side, the coat of arms of Mecklenburg is to be seen. Because the Grand Duke left Germany at the last days of the war in 1945 to the family in Copenhagen. And they have still today a lot of relationship to Copenhagen, and so they were lucky that they could buy it back. Yes. For the next room, I will tell you here, because the next room is a room in the main tower, you saw from outside the staircase in the garden. It is a flower suite. 
And the first wife of Friedrich Franz II, Auguste, she got this room as a birthday present when the reconstructed castle was opened her 35th birthday, 1857. That's why there's a lot of decoration with her face, with decoration in the ceiling. There's an A for Auguste, you will see. The lady set a nice room with flowers, with fountain from downstairs, or when it was too hot to windy, they stayed inside, and so the room is very nice. Have you on the right hand side, and you will go straight ahead to the living room. All right, y'all. So it's actually been a couple days since we were in Germany last. We are in Germany again, but different part. I started realizing as I was editing the first Germany video that we never did an outro. <laughs> so the first place is Wismar and how do you say it, mom? Shrine that we stopped Shrein. at the castle. I think so far we're our favorite, probably our favorite tour of the whole trip. So definitely worth it. The German castle was great. I really liked being able to walk all around the two little towns. And um, our tour guide was really good. She knew so much history. She was definitely interested. And I think that was the main problem. I plan to do a little review of the tour on the way back to the ship and Miss Silka just talked the entire drive back on the highway. So 10 out of 10 liked this tour. Definitely would recommend it. Um, and we will see y'all in the next video. Bye.